the process where it's decided um, that people will have chemotherapy, it's decided at a multidisciplinary team meeting where you have a group of clinicians, uh, nurses, doctors, um, radiographers who look at all the patient's reports, x-rays, surgical reports, and then make a decision on what is gold standard treatment for them. A gold standard treatment would be the best treatment that's available for their type of cancer because everybody's cancer is personal to them, is different. Welcome to Mount Vernon. Thank you for coming today. Um, you're here at Mount Vernon Cancer Center and each of you are having chemotherapy, which is why you've been asked to come today. Any patient that's coming to Mount Vernon Cancer Centre for chemotherapy um, treatment will be invited to a pre-treatment consultation. This will either be in a group session or some people would like their consultation on a one-to-one -one basis. At that consultation, the patient's given all the information about the type of treatment they're going to have, what side effects they might experience, and the process of coming for, for chemotherapy treatment so they know how often to, um, to come, where they'll be going to have their treatment, and what their treatment actually entails. My name is Teresa Sullivan. I'm a chemotherapy trained nurse here at the center, and I'll be telling you a bit more about chemotherapy today. So chemotherapy is a drug. It's used to kill cancer cells and it can affect not only the cancer cells but some of your normal cells as well. So today we'll be talking about some of the side effects that you may get from chemotherapy because it affects some of the good cells as well as the cancer cells. Mandy, yes. hello, good morning, hello. hi, my name's Lorraine. Nice to want to come, you. Hello, yeah. want to come this way? Treatment's here. They'll then be seen by the nurse that's leading the pre-treatment um, pre consultation and the nurse will then go through any allergies, any medications, any past medical history, any burning sort of immediate issues that the, um, that the patient has, any burning questions that the patient needs to ask. That's smashing, thank you very much indeed. Okay. Sorry. Lovely, okay. Ready to come through? Okay, All right. As soon as everything is organised, everything is ready, the patient will then get called through from the reception area into the chemotherapy treatment area where their chemotherapy will begin. The different ways people can receive chemotherapy is either intravenously, which is by chemotherapy given into a vein, or they can receive chemotherapy orally, which is taking chemotherapy in tablet form. Chemotherapy shouldn't hurt. Um, sometimes when chemotherapy is being, being given into a vein, it, patients can experience a cold sensation as the, um, as the chemotherapy is being given. But if the chemotherapy is painful during the administration, then they must tell the nurse because it shouldn't hurt. No, the young lady did the other day. It's good. But I asked her to wrap it in there because it just kept tagging. You know, I like it secure. Advice for patients turning up for the very first time to have their, their, their chemotherapy would be that actually, yes, it is a frightening experience. Yes, it is a step into the unknown. But you've got an awful lot of people here that can help you through your chemotherapy treatment. And the most important thing is that you ask and you ask for help if you need it. And you ask for information and you ask for advice if you need it. And that's what we're here for. And we would much, much rather people asked and we can reassure them than sat and worried about things and didn't do anything about it. I think I was worried and too much because I didn't know anything about cancer before and um, it's, it's been really much easier you know than, than what I thought it's not that uh, that much to be worried about really because it seems like they've moved on so much even the, the putting the line in I dreaded uh, having the line put in but there was no pain at all while it was being done yeah, and I slept well last night, so no pain at all. Yeah. At the end of the day, you've just got to take one step at a time, you know, and, and just rest when you need to and do bits and pieces, you know, when you feel you can. But it's not that bad at all, quite honestly. But as for the process, I mean, I just, I really don't think that there's anything better that they can do because they, they're so lovely here. 50 milligrams. And that's for Mandy Burry. I think they think it's going to be a lot worse than it actually is. That's the main theme that comes out of a patient when they've gone through their chemotherapy, they've come to the end of their six cycles of treatment, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. 
and the mind is a very, very powerful tool. And I find that an awful lot of patients come in with all sorts of worries and fears. But I always say, just talk to us, let us know what's going on. And if we can help you, or even if we can't help you, we can normally find somebody who can. There's a drop of water there for you. Okay. How long they're going to be here, that's the main concern of a lot of patients, um, is uh, how long their day is going to be. And obviously it goes without saying what the side effects are possibly going to be. So it's important to talk through with the patient their treatment plan, how long they're going to be here, and what the possible side effects will be post-treatment.